Hi everyone, it's Amanda from Queen of Hearts Photography and today I have a tutorial on my new Bare Skin Action Collection. I am so excited to finally be releasing these. It has taken me weeks and I think about a month to just get them perfect. I wanted to make sure that they were really going to work for everybody and that I had a multitude of options for different skin tones and colors and so it's something that everybody will be able to use. Um, this set has 14 actions. It has nine different skin tones and then it's got five little add-ons here. So I'm just going to show you a couple of photos on how these work so you can see how um, they're very, they're, they're not very dramatic. They're not made to be like in your face, I photoshop the skin kind of action. They're very subtle, but it makes a huge difference. So I'm going to show you exactly what they do and the difference that they make. And right here I have one of my beautiful friends, Allie, who I worked with. Uh, you know, it's our favorite message. <laughs> um, that I worked with last, not last summer, I think the summer before. Um, and I'm definitely going to be working with her again this year, so stay tuned for those shoots. But she, we're going to fix her skin up a little bit here. And her skin, when you look at it, it really doesn't look that bad. But she's got some hot spots. Um, she's got some cool spots and then some warm spots. And it was just the placement of the sun behind her. And I think I might have had a little bit of a flash on her here on her face. Just a little bit. I'm not, I don't remember. I'm not sure. Um, so I want to fix that. These actions were made to even out skin tone, reduce the shine, get rid of hot spots and that's exactly what they do and I created these actions actually because of my boys they're so fair toned and their skin is virtually impossible to get correct and even in editing it is so hard because they're just so white so I actually created the fair and light skin for my boys and then a couple of weeks of using them I'm like I need to like make this a set because it's gonna be a perfect set for everybody to use so if you struggle with skin, this is a great set for you, and no more talking, I promise. <laughs> Let's get into it. So Allie here, she has, I think she's got, she's pretty tan, she's pretty dark. Um, She's probably maybe medium, I don't know, medium, maybe medium slash dark. Let's run medium dark and, and see what it looks like. We'll see which one we like best. Okay, so we're just going to use a white paintbrush. As you can see, it does nothing to the photo. These are all brushes. So we'll make our brush a little bit smaller here. I'm going to go ahead and paint this on. And you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. And whatever you paint it on that you don't want it on, you can easily erase off. You can see I'm coloring this on. I'm thinking that maybe the dark medium might be too dark for her. Kind of orange, so we're gonna delete that and we're gonna go. We're gonna try medium, okay? So let's try this color that's much better. You can see it's just nice and light, and she does have dark hair, so if it gets on her hair, it's gonna be noticeable. And we're gonna have to go back and erase that off. So just try to get it all over the skin the best that you can. Um, make sure you don't forget any skin. Make sure you get the fingers and the neck and the chest and the arms and whatever else is standing out to you. Like her neck here. She's also wearing a black shirt. So for the most part, if you run get these actions on anything, like on the grass or on the background, if it's not a dark background, it's not really going to show or make much of a difference. But for something like black, it's or white. Black or white is probably really going to be your problem area. This is where it's going to show the most. We don't want to forget her legs down here because this leg over here is pretty blown out. Over here this leg's kind of purple and you want to miss jewelry and that kind of thing but for the sake of not spending 20 minutes painting this on for you I'm just going to try not to be too picky. So once you've got everything painted which I think I did and it's kind of hard to see where you missed so you just kind of have to make sure you go over everything really well I make my brush a little bit smaller pretty small actually to get right inside here try to avoid her eyelashes um, now I'm going to get my black brush back out 
black will erase so I want to try to get it off any of the dark parts like her hair up here I know I got it on a little bit I think that's really all just my sloppy painting okay so let me show you the before you can see she's got some hot spots and she's kind of blue and this is the after you can see that her skin looks just a lot more vibrant and it's a lot more even and it's a lot more matte so it's not shiny it looks so much better now you gotta make sure that you don't get it on the eyes which I think I did a little bit or on the eyebrows you gotta take your time and erase it off of you know any of the parts that you accidentally got it on but the before the after it looks a lot more like skin now all of the actions have um, they have layers inside that are automatically turned off by default like a warm layer if you wanted more warmth which we don't but if you did you could add more warmth or you can cool it down which might not be such a bad idea for her cool it down a little bit you can go in here and you can tone it down a little bit however you want to you can tone down the whole action but that looks pretty good just adding a little bit of coolness to her skin because depending on your surroundings and depending on the temperature of the actual whole photo you want it all to blend in so you don't if you have a cool photo you don't really want her to have like super warm skin so you can go in here and you can turn these different layers on and off and play with them and customize them to to fit different skin tones I also have these skin helpers down here so if you need more pink in your skin if you need more yellow if you need more blue you can run one of these skin brightener if your skin is really dull and dark you can use this to brighten up the skin a little bit but once again the before and the after and her skin looks so much better so let's go on to another one this is another one of my model friends Jen she's also very very lovely and I'll be working with her again this year I hope now you can see that her skin is very dull this it's a little um, cool it's a little blue she doesn't really have too many hot spots but it's just very dull it looks kind of gray and I think it's just maybe from the way I edited the photo you can see it's kind of gray it's kind of blue and I think she's more of a light medium so we're gonna run light medium here and we want to make sure we have our white brush get a little bit bigger and brush it on and I know right now it looks totally crazy what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get up in the hair especially people who have blonde hair somebody with light colored hair getting it on their hair really isn't going to make too much of a difference but you want to make sure you get the hair that you can see or the skin that you can see under the hair now right now I know it looks crazy intense so I'm going to show you how you're going to customize it and make it fit make it fit um, her skin tone so right now she looks like crazy orange but I promise you it won't be that way when we're done because the overall photo is very cool toned obviously you can tell we were by the ocean and the sunset was very cool it's more of like pinks and blues rather than your bright oranges and that kind of thing so oh, right over the door I shouldn't have done that huh she's got her black bathing suit on too so we gotta be very careful we want to make sure we get all the skin my brush maybe just a little bit bigger so I can get over here on her arm. It's going to be kind of hard to get all the pieces here. <laughs> now even for for her because she's got blonde hair I've actually used this brush on blonde hair. I'm going to show you here in a second that it kind of just intensifies the blonde and brings out the blonde. I'm going to show you here since I, I think I got pretty much everything covered but you can run this on the blonde hair and you see it just makes her hair look very blonde what you could do if you don't want it that intense you can either lower the opacity of your brush or you can run the action a second time just to run on their hair if you wanted to and now you can see that her hair stands out pretty nicely it just looks a lot more blonde and it blends into her skin I feel like it's just like I'm missing little spots here and I'm trying to get them all. So, that actually doesn't look too bad, huh? I thought it was going to be a little too dark or a little too uh, warm, but 
And she doesn't look that bad once you warm up her hair because now she actually looks like she's warm. Her hair was a more cool tone, so it didn't really fit her warm toned skin. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole of the photo was really cool toned. So obviously that came off on her hair also. Oops, you can see I just got it on her eye. We don't want to get it on the eyes. We want to try to avoid eyebrows if we can. Oy, oy, oy. I just took my time and did this right the first time. It would be so bad. So, okay. So, we can go in here and you can turn on a cool layer if you want to, which might not be such a bad idea with her, and just lower it down. I'll just look just a little bit, just so she blends better into the background. So that's the before. She was very cool. She was very dull. And this is the after. You can see how much better that she looks. Now the only problem that I really have with this photo are her lips are pretty pale in this photo. They were pale before we ran the action, but then after we did this, we made her skin so vibrant that it kind of really took away from her lips and her cheeks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, it's not, I'm, I'm sure I missed a few spots, but for the sake of the video, not being half an hour long, I hope, <laughs> maybe it will be, I don't know. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to run the blush action. And this we are going to, I think I got a pretty small brush here. I'm going to run it on her lips. See that instantly brightens up her lips. And I think I'm going to, because this is pretty low. Ooh, I don't want that low. That's probably pretty good. So there's the before, there's the after. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit now. Huh? Alright. That's the before. And that's the after. And I want to run some on her cheeks too just a little bit. But I'm not sure if I want to run the action again. I don't know how I want to do this. Let's, let's put a little bit on her cheeks and see if it's too intense here. Yeah, that's too much. So, you could use the same action here on the lips and the cheeks at the same time but the problem is, is her lips were so pale that I had to really bump up the color and I don't want the same color on her cheeks so I'm going to flatten this and I'm going to run it one more time and then I'm going to run this on her cheeks and it's going to be very subtle Just a little bit over here make sure you get all the cheek and then bring it down I don't want that intense just enough so her cheeks look a little red. So that's the before and that's the after. Just bring a little bit of color back into her cheeks. Flatten that. And I think I've got a before down here so we can kind of compare it next to each other. So here's the before and here's the after. And her skin looks so much better. It looks so much more lively, I guess is a better way to put it. <laughs> it looks very vibrant and it's just beautiful. I love these actions. They're so helpful. So I think the other one I'm going to show you is this one right here. And the reason I want to show you this is because I took this photo about two years ago, I want to say. And you can see the obvious mistakes that I made. The face is kind of blown out. It's very cool. It's very dull. It just doesn't look very good at all. So I was I came across this photo and I was like, I wonder what these actions would do for this skin to see a dramatic difference. So I think, I think I'm going to run light to medium. I think that's the color I want. And we are going to, now her here, she's got this beautiful strawberry blonde red hair. So I also used this brush on her hair. And it really just makes her hair stand out beautifully. So while we're using it on the skin, it's okay to get it on her hair because it really just makes her hair look awesome. It just takes away from the dull parts, like the blown out parts that were up top here from the light and just brings it out beautifully. So we can, now once again, you want to try to avoid jewelry, but for the sake of this video, I don't have, I'm not going to be tedious and go around it, but you definitely, you know, on a photo that you're going to present to a client or whatever, definitely take your time and go over the jewelry. So here we have this, the before and the after. And if I didn't tell you that I had 
edited this the skin this way, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell, right? Once again, the before and the after. Such a dramatic difference. I wish I had these actions back then. They would have saved me so much time and headache. And once again, you can go in here, you can cool it down if you want to, which I don't, or you can warm it up, which we definitely don't want to do. And there's also a layer down here. Um, well, maybe there's not a layer down here. I thought there was an extra layer in this action, but I guess there's not. I think maybe it's only in the light skin. I wanted to show you when I when I edit a picture of my boys next, I'm going to show you the extra layer that the light skin has. Uh, but seriously, before and after, if you struggle with skin tone, these actions are going to save your life. Now remember, you can customize these to make them really fit any kind of skin tone. As you can see, the different colors that I have here and the add-ons that I have. Because some people, I also dabble in makeup. I have a makeup collection. I collect it. I have too much of it. I love it. I, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. But So I know a lot about skin tones. And so I know that some people, you can have more pink in your skin. You can have more yellow. You can have more blue undertones. Whatever your undertones are, there's also these helpers down here to help match that. These are just basics up here. These are just basic, the most popular skin colors, and these are just to help everything out. And like I have already showed you the different layers that you can turn and turn off. The cool down, the warm up, you can make them, um, you can you know, up the opacity, you can lower the opacity, you can turn them both on. I've done that before. We turn on the warmth and the cool layer, and it kind of just balances the whole thing out. You can do that if you want. You don't have to. You can really customize it to fit anything and it's going to save you so much time and headache from trying to make your subject's skin look like actual skin. I struggled with it for a very long time, especially with my boys. So oh, I can't stress enough how much these actions have helped me. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I think, I, I think I have two here, but I think I'm going to show you just the one more of my son here. And his skin's really not too bad. But can I just say for one second how adorable he looks and how beautiful his eyes are? Those are his real eyes, guys. I do not edit my boy's eyes. Their eyes actually look like that. They got those from their daddy, so they're not mine, but <laughs> they're gorgeous. And, oh, and his skin, he has such beautiful, creamy skin. But it's very fair and it's very hard to edit. So I think we're going to go with the light skin to give him a little bit of color. Because this was taken during the summer and he did have a little bit of color in his skin in this one. So I think... I think we need a little bit of a bigger brush here. And we are going to make sure you get up there in the hairline. And like right here, you want to get down there and get into the scalp that shows. I want to show you, I'm showing you this photo because I want to show you the subtle difference that it can make in a photo that might not even really need like an intense fix. Like the last photo it can be a subtle fix. I'm going to avoid his white shirt down there because that will most likely show. I'm going to try to get around his eyes and getting his eyebrows won't be a problem. Depending on your subject, depending on the color of the hair, you know, you're going to have to avoid the eyebrows or mask it off the eyebrows or the hair. But like him, he's got pretty light hair, so getting it on his hair really isn't a big deal. It's not really going to show. I know I've got some, I know I went over a little bit. I'm sorry if you hear some racket in the background. We have a foster kitten, and we can't decide if we're going to keep him or if we're going to give him back to the shelter, and he's playing around me and getting into trouble. So if you hear some ruckus, that's what you're hearing. So anyway, this is just so subtle. This is the before. There's just some, there's just some hot spots. There's just some shiny spots. You know, there's some blue spots. There's some pale spots. And then after I run the action, this is the after, and you can see just how much better his skin looks. However, the photo itself is uh, kind of faded, kind of, you know, it's not very vibrant, it's not very bright. And to have very vibrant and bright skin on a photo that's kind of faded like this, it kind of stands out and we don't want that. So we want to bring down the opacity just a little bit so that way it matches the photo. I can't stress that enough. Make sure that your skin tones are matching the rest of your photo. Okay, so here's the before and here's the after. Now I'm going to show you this extra layer that's in here. I have a lightened layer in here. Now you can turn this on, which we don't really want. It's a very subtle difference. It's basically like a skin brightener. This is with it on. It's very uh, subtle. 
But what I like to do, if my photos, if my skin's a little overexposed or you're having really white skin, you can take this and change it from lighten to multiply. And then it's going to deepen your skin just a little bit. So once again, the before and the after. Very subtle, but his skin looks much more vibrant, much more lively, and I think it looks so much better. Okay, so I can't decide. Do you guys want to see this photo? This is really blown out, and this is like an extreme fix. Okay, maybe I'm going to show you. So sue me for having a long video, but I want to make sure that you guys can see what all these actions are capable of doing and how they're so customizable. So one more photo, I promise. So we're going to run the light action because, once again, this is my three-year-old and he's very light-skinned. All light-skinned. They get that from their father, too. I, however, I'm light-skinned, but I am not this light. And I tan very easily. My boys do not. Well, Caden here does. He tans pretty good. But the photo itself was pretty blown out. So I want to show you gonna paint this all on here and once again he's got pretty blonde hair so getting it on his hair isn't really an issue and it's so he's so white down here I'm gonna try to avoid hitting any of the color there's color cast down there this wasn't meant to be like a you know like a oh my god gorgeous photo it was just a photo that I took of him so it's not technically correct. You can see the color cast down here, but I just wanted to show you, for example, how bad this photo was. You can hear the little kitten in the background meowing. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Now it doesn't really match the photo, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and I'm going to turn on my cool down layer. And I'm going to drop it down just a little bit because the photo is pretty cool. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to grab our lighten layer and I'm going to turn it on to multiply so it darkens up the skin a little bit and then the whole action itself I'm going to lower just a little bit. So here's the before. Very cool. Very white. Very blown out. Here's the after. Is it perfect? Well heck no because the exposure on this photo was absolutely terrible. It was way blown out. But the skin looks a lot better than it did before. Before, after. Very subtle, but it looks a lot better. So you can make these actions, you can make the skin as strong or as subtle as you want. So before I sign off here, oh, that kitten. Before I sign off here, I just want to go over the skin tones. I should have went over it before I started, but I was so excited to show you. So. We got fair skin, light skin, light to medium skin, medium skin, medium to dark skin, dark skin, tan skin, bronze skin. What's the difference between tan and bronze? Uh, bronzy is more like your orange folk. So, you know, if you get someone who fake tans, this is going to be your best bet here. And then we got deep skin. And then we've got our helpers down here like I've already gone over. The pink tone, the yellow tone, the blue tone, the skin brightener, and the blush brush. Like I said, all of these can be customized. You can, you know, if you had to, you could run the light skin action, you know, twice. Or any of these actions you can run twice. You can do it in certain spots. If, you know, whatever you need to do, they're so customizable. And they look so natural. So no more screwing around with all the adjustments and trying to fix skin and ripping your hair out. Because I don't know about you, but I have struggled with skin for so long. So these actions have been a total, total lifesaver. And I really, really hope that you guys enjoy them. And I hope that they help you. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And hopefully I will have a new Watch Me Edit tutorial coming up soon. I am having a minor heart operation at the end of, well, whenever I post this video, on Friday the 13th. So I will be down and out for a couple of days. I will try to get to emails and whatever. The set will hopefully be released before I'm in the hospital. Um, so whatever you need, if I don't answer you right away, please just be patient with me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But in the meantime, please, please, please enjoy these actions and I will... I will hopefully 
talk to you sooner rather than later.